What's the difference between heat detectors and smoke detectors? Because while they're both designed to detect a fire, they both work in very different ways. And be sure to hang on to see how this device can give you the best of both worlds. So let's take these detectors apart and see what we can find inside. A smoke detector, especially an optical type, works by using a light beam inside a sensing chamber. When smoke enters the chamber, it scatters the light beam, triggering the alarm. This makes it highly sensitive to slow, smouldering fires like those caused by overloaded sockets or faulty wiring. They're ideal for hallways, bedrooms and living spaces, anywhere you want fast detection and minimal display. But in places like kitchens, lofts or garages, smoke detectors can be a problem. Steam, cooking fumes or even dust can mimic smoke and set them off. That's where heat detectors come in. They don't react to particles in the air. Instead, they respond to temperature. Normally, it's a fixed threshold, typically around 57 degrees C, and that makes them far more reliable in environments where smoke-like conditions are common, but where you still want and need fire protection. So is there a trade-off? Well, heat detectors are generally slower to respond than smoke detectors because they have to wait for the heat to build up. But in the right settings, that is a worthwhile compromise. Now, in some cases, you'll come across combined smoke and heat detectors. These are clever devices that monitor both smoke levels and rising temperature, giving you the best of both worlds in one unit. They're a great option for areas like bedrooms, hallways, and landings, where you want comprehensive fire detection with a lower risk of false alarms. But even with combined detectors, you still need to be careful for where you fit them. They're not suitable for steamy kitchens and dusty lofts, places where airborne particles and temperature swings could cause problems. So here's the takeaway. Use smoke detectors for fast early warning in clean areas. Use heat detectors in places where smoke might cause false alarms. Get the mix right and you've got a much smarter, safer system.